So in this video, we are going to solve a demand allocation uh, model in Excel Solver. So in terms of what we would need to be given, um, we need to be given information about CIJ, which is the cost uh, to produce and transport, uh, in this example, 1,000 units from Baltimore to Atlanta. Um, so we're given this information, that's our CIJs. Uh, we are also given monthly demand in thousands of units. So Atlanta needs 10,000 uh, units demanded. Uh, Boston needs 8,000, Chicago needs 14,000 and so forth. So this is again DJ and that's again given. And we are also need to be given our capacity. So how much capacity does Baltimore, Cheyenne, Salt Lake City have each month? Um, and so for this problem, uh, Baltimore has 18,000 units. It can ship out um, each month and so forth. And so this information is also given. And so what we need to do in the demand allocation problem is determine how do I use this capacity to fulfill this demand? Um, and so let's formulate that as a demand allocation problem. So again, what is our decision? Our decision variable is the quantity shipped from city I to city J. And so there will be an XJ for all of these different um, situations. And so what I have highlighted in yellow, this is my decision variable. And so this would be what we're gonna tell Excel Solver to go um, determine is how many units should I ship from Baltimore to Atlanta? How many units should I ship from Baltimore to Boston and so forth? Um, and then how are we gonna do that? We're gonna decide it using an objective function. And our objective function here is to minimize the cost of the quantity shipped times what it costs uh, to make a shipment. Um, which is the CIJ input parameters. And so we basically want this cell times that cell, this cell times that cell and so forth, which is again in Excel functions, that's the sum product. And so what we need is the sum product of the CIJs with our decision variables, the XIJs. That will give us our objective function. So if we went to Excel Solver and said minimize this function, um, it would just say, don't do anything but we aren't fulfilling our demand uh, by doing that. So we need to now add a constraint that basically says all of these demands need to be met. And so how do we do that? Well, we can meet Atlanta's demand by either shipping from Baltimore, some from Cheyenne, et cetera, right? So if I sum up this column here, that would give me uh, everything that's shipped to Atlanta. And so that must equal the 10, which is the 10,000 units um, that are demanded. And so we could do that again for each of these. So if I sum over in this column here, that would tell me how many units are shipped to Boston and Boston better get 8,000 units and so forth. And so you can see here, we just are summing over our X's um, that are going to somewhere. Uh, so for each uh, J, we sum over uh, the X's and that's what we get um, there. And we'll then add an Excel solver that this uh, matrix has to equal that matrix. Okay, that's great for demand, but you may say, uh, I'm just gonna take the cheapest ones and use it all uh, to ship something, but we only have so much capacity, okay? And so how do we determine uh, Baltimore's um, production out? Well, it would be the sum over all of where it's going, right? So if I sum over Baltimore to Atlanta to Boston, da, 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 if I sum over all of those, that gives me how much am I shipping out? And my constraint is I can only ship at most 18,000 out, okay? And so we will then in Excel Solver have this uh, should be less than or equal to 18. Similar for Cheyenne, I only have 24,000 uh, units per month. Well, so I can only ship out from Cheyenne to somewhere else, and that somewhere else is where we would sum over. Um, that has to be less than 24. And so we would set that up um, as, as follows. And now let's uh, go and solve this in Excel Solver. So if you go to Data and Solver, um, it says set the objective function, so that's this value. Um, we are minimizing by changing what? By changing these values. Um, and then we have two constraints. We have um, that this must equal this, right? So that's saying the demand has to be, uh, what is shipped to all these places has to equal the demand. 
Um, and then we're saying all of the things going out, so all of these different facilities have to be less than their capacity. Okay? And then we would add, and then we also need to have that all of them are greater than or equal to zero. If you just click this box here, that makes XIJ is greater than or equal to zero. Remember, we have an LP, we have a linear program, so you should be clicking simplex LP, and then you click solve. And it says, found a solution, all constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied, great. So we click OK. And so now we have our optimal solution to this demand allocation problem. What is it optimal to do? It's optimal to ship 8,000 units from Baltimore to Boston. It's optimal to ship 6,000 units from Cheyenne to Denver. It's optimal to ship um, from Salt Lake, all of its um, units to Portland. Memphis ships 10 um, to Atlanta and 10, 12 to Chicago. And Wichita ships two to Chicago and seven to Omaha. And that's the minimum cost. And so if I take the sum product of these two matrices, that gives me um, $26,493 per month. Um, and you could think about production and transportation costs. So now you have solved uh, the demand allocation problem using Excel, and these files will be posted.